Welcome to Bible Quizzes. Today's questions are all about New Testament prophecies. Are you ready? Let's begin. Round 1. True or False? One point each. 1. The wise man warns Joseph to take Jesus and Mary to Egypt to escape King Herod's wrath. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. Matthew 2.13 The angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. 2. Babylon is the symbolic city identified as the mother of harlots. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is true. Revelation 17.5 And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. 3. The sun will darken and the moon will turn to blood before the great and notable day of the Lord. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is true. Acts 2.20 The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. 4. Jesus' second coming in power and great glory will not be visible to all the tribes of the earth. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. Matthew 24, 30 And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. 5. Those who feel ashamed of Jesus and His words will the Son of Man be ashamed of when He comes in His glory. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is true. Luke 9 26 For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his Father's and of the holy angels. 6. The Son of Perdition will be revealed first before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is true. 2 Thessalonians 2 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. 7. The kingdom's children will be cast out into outer darkness. We have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is true. Matthew 8, 12 But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 8. Jesus compares his second coming to the wind in Matthew 24, 27. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. Matthew 24, 27 For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 9. Peter warns saints about people claiming they are Christ in the end times. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. Matthew 24, 4-5 And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. 10. The great tribulation will be shortened because of all flesh. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. 
Matthew 24, 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. 11. The powers of the sea shall be shaken after the tribulation. We have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. Matthew 24, 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. 12. Summer will make it difficult to flee. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. Matthew 24, 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. 13. The angels will gather the elect from the four winds. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is true. Matthew 24, 31 And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. 14. The saved knows the day and hour of Jesus' return. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. Matthew 24, 36 But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. 15. The end is near when you hear wars and rumors of wars. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. Mark 13, 7, And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. 16. Distress of nations will appear before they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is true. Luke 21, 25, and 27. And upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. 17. Raphael is the name of the angel of the bottomless pit. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. Revelation 9.11 And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue had his name Apollyon. 18. A golden reed will be used to measure the new Jerusalem city, gates, and wall. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is true. Revelation 21 15. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the wall thereof. 19. One of the seven angels tells John, I will show you the judgment of the great whore. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is true. Revelation 17, 1, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great war that sitteth upon many waters. 20. An earthquake causes the rivers and fountains of water to become blood. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false. Revelation 8.10 And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And that ends round 1. Round 2. Multiple choice. Two points each. Let's begin. 21. 
whose voice will be heard from heaven as the dead in Christ rise first. Moses and Elijah, Gabriel, Peter and Andrew, Archangel. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Archangel, 1 Thessalonians 4.16 For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the Archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. 22. Who is the rider on the white horse, given a crown and heading out to conquer? Satan, Gabriel, Jesus Christ, Abaddon. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Jesus Christ, Revelation 6, 1-2. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he, Jesus Christ, that sat on him and had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. 23. Who will the Son of Man send out to gather his elect? The Holy Spirit, his angels, the believers, the prophets. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is his angels, Matthew 24, 31, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. 24. Where will the beast and the false prophet be cast into? The bottomless pit, lake of fire, the abyss, the wilderness. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Lake of Fire, Revelation 19.20, And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. 25. What will happen to those who endure until the end? Saved, redeemed, sealed, blessed. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is saved, Matthew 24, 13, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. 26. Who will come up from the bottomless pit? The false prophet, the devil, Judas Iscariot, beast. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is beast. Revelation 11.7 And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. 27. Who will rule with a rod of iron? The Antichrist, the false prophet, Jesus Christ, the Roman Empire. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Jesus Christ, Revelation 19.15, And out of his Jesus Christ's mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. 28. About whom did Isaiah speak when he said, The voice of one crying in the wilderness? Jesus Christ, John the Baptist, Elijah, Jonah. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is John the Baptist, Matthew 3, 1 and 3. In those days came John the Baptist, for this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. 29. Who rises from the dead first? The believers, Christ, the wicked, false prophets. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Christ, Acts 26, 23, that Christ should suffer and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead and should show light unto the people and to the Gentiles. 
30. Where did Micah prophesy that Jesus would be born? Jerusalem, Capernaum, Nazareth, Bethlehem. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Bethlehem, Matthew 2, 5-6. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou Bethlehem, for the out of thee shall come a governor, that shall rule my people Israel. 31. About whom did Isaiah speak when he said, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, Elizabeth, Sarah, Mary, Hannah? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Mary, Matthew 1, 22-23. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin Mary shall be with child. 32. How many elders encircled the throne of God in John's vision? 12, 36, 24, 48. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is 24, Revelation 4.4, 4. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I, John, saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. 33. Who wrote the prophecy in Revelation? Luke, John, Mark, Paul. We have ten seconds to answer. The answer is John, Revelation 1, 9-10. I, John, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. 34. What major event will Jesus' prophecy occur before the end? Preaching the gospel, total darkness, earthquakes, wars will increase. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is preaching the gospel, Matthew 24, 14, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. 35. What will happen to believers before the second coming of Jesus? They will be persecuted. They will be taken up to heaven. They will perform miracles. They will rule. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is, they will be persecuted. Matthew 24, 9 Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. 36. What will happen to the stars after the tribulation? They will become brighter. They will turn red. They will disappear. They will fall. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is, they will fall. Matthew 24, 29 Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. 37. How does Jesus compare the coming of the Son of Man? The days of King David, the days of Noah, the days of Queen Esther, the days of Solomon. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is the days of Noah, Matthew 24, 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 38. How will the Son of Man appear? Visibly, humbly, quietly, in secret. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is visibly, Matthew 24, 30, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. 39. What does Matthew 24, 11 say will arise and deceive many? 
false prophets, natural disasters, signs and wonders, dark forces. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is false prophets, Matthew 24, 11, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. 40. What will false Christ and false prophets do? Speak with wisdom, show signs and wonders, lead righteous lives, heal the sick. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is show signs and wonders, Matthew 24, 24, for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders, and so much that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. 41. What will happen in various places during the Great Tribulation? Peace and prosperity, famines and earthquakes, celebrations and festivals, signs and wonders. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is famines and earthquakes. Matthew 24, 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. 42. What event has never appeared since the beginning? False Messiah, miraculous events, great tribulation, cosmic shift. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Great Tribulation, Matthew 24, 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. 43. What does it mean when there are earthquakes in diverse locations? Start of anguish, onset of pain, beginnings of sorrows, commencement of grief. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is beginnings of sorrows. Mark 13, 8. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. 44. What warning should we pay attention to if someone claims to be Christ? Being deceived, ignoring the signs, being led astray, being overly fearful. You have 10 seconds to answer. Answer is being deceived. Mark 13, 5 to 6. And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed, lest any man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. 45. What should those in Judea do when they see the abomination of desolation? Confront the abomination, call for divine intervention, flee to the mountains, seek shelter in fortified cities. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is flee to the mountains. Mark 13, 14 But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand, then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. 46. What is spoken of by Daniel the prophet? The coming of the Son of Man, the abomination of desolation, the destruction of the temple, the dispersion of the Jewish people. We have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is the abomination of desolation, Mark 13, 14. But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand, then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. 47. What should you abstain from when you hear about wars and commotions? Be not terrified. Don't panic. Stay unafraid. Remain composed. You have 10 seconds to answer.
The answer is, be not terrified. Luke 21 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. 48. What will not pass away until all things are fulfilled? This generation, the kingdom of God, the word of God, the prophecies. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is this generation. Luke 21 32. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. 49. What parable does Jesus tell when the kingdom of God is closed? The mustard seed, the prodigal son, the lost coin, the fig tree. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is the fig tree, Luke 21, 29, and 31. And he spake to them a parable, saying, Behold the fig tree and all the trees, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. 50. What power was given to the beast to overcome the saints? Power over nature, power over all nations, power over sickness, power over time. We have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is the power over all nations. Revelation 13, 7, And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. 51. Which city is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt? Jerusalem, Nineveh, Babylon, Corinth. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Jerusalem, Revelation 11.8, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. 52. What did the angel declare would not be found in the new Jerusalem? Anything unclean, anything unworthy, anything impure, anything that defileth. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is anything that defileth. Revelation 21 27. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. 53. What befell the man who bore the mark of the beast and worshipped his image? A great windstorm, a violent earthquake, a noisome and grievous sore, a hailstorm of fire. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is a noisome and grievous sore. Revelation 16:2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. 54. What did the seven angels receive for the seven last plagues? Seven torches of flame, seven trumpets of warning, seven golden vials, seven crowns of glory. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is seven golden vials, Revelation 15, 7. And one of the four beasts had gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials, full of the wrath of God, who liveth forever and ever. 55. What are the seven mountains on which the woman sits? Seven priests, seven prophets, seven nations, seven kings. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is seven kings. Revelation 17, 9-10 And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains, on which the woman sitteth, and there are seven kings. 56. What was given to the two witnesses? Authority, sword, power, knowledge. You have 10 seconds to answer.
The answer is power. Revelation 11.5 And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth. 57. What did John see in the right hand of him that sat on the throne? A scroll of parchment, a staff of authority, a golden tablet, a sealed book. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is a sealed book. Revelation 5.1 And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. 58. What were the seven thunders about to utter? Their names, their voices, their judgments, their warnings. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is their voices. Revelation 10.4 And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. 59. Where did the beast arise from? The earth, the sea, the abyss, the clouds. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is the sea. Revelation 13.1 And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. 60. How many angels were prepared to sound the trumpets? 5, 7, 3, 10. You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is 7. Revelation 8-2 And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And that ends round 2. Round 3. Short answer, 3 points each. Let's begin. 61. Whom did the angel visit to announce the birth of John the Baptist? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Zacharias. Luke 1.13 But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. 62. What will a false Christ do? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is deceive many. Matthew 24, 5 For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. 63. What is the number of the beast? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is 666. Revelation 13, 18 here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. 64. Who is the great dragon? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Satan. Revelation 12.9 And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. 65. What were the names of the twelve gates of the new Jerusalem? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is 12 tribes of Israel. Revelation 21, 12, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. 66. What is the day of the Lord so coming as in the night? You have ten seconds to answer.
The answer is a thief. 1 Thessalonians 5.2 For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. 67. What will the Lord himself descend from heaven with? We have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is shout. 1 Thessalonians 4.16 for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead of Christ shall rise first. 68. Who are the 144,000? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is the tribes of the children of Israel. Revelation 7.4 and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. 69. What will happen to the two witnesses after they finish their testimony? We have ten seconds to answer. The answer is, the beast will kill them, Revelation 11.7, and when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them, and kill them. 70. Who prophesied that Jesus would sit at the right hand of God? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is David. Acts 2, 34-35 For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, until I make thy foes thy footstool. 71. Who prophesied about the day of Pentecost? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Joel, Acts 2, 16-17. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. 72. Who did David prophesy to betray Jesus? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Judas, Acts 1.16. Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled, which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was guide to them the two of Jesus. 73. Whose prophecy about Israel's blindness did Paul reiterate? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Isaiah, Acts 28, 25-26. Paul had spoken one word, well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet unto our fathers, saying, Go unto this people, and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. 74. Who will not see corruption? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is the Holy One, Acts 13.35, Wherefore he saith also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thine Holy One, Jesus, to see corruption. 75. Whose soul was not left in hell? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Christ, Acts 2.31, he, seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. 76. When the man of sin is revealed, what will he exalt himself above? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is God. 
2 Thessalonians 2, 3-4, that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. 77. What must happen before the day of the Lord comes? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is the falling away. 2 Thessalonians 2 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there comes a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. 78. Who will be consumed and destroyed at the coming of Jesus? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is the wicked. 2 Thessalonians 2.8 And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. 79. What did Paul warn the Thessalonians not to let anyone deceive them about? You have 10 seconds to answer. And 80. What did the angel with the key to the bottomless pit do to Satan? You have 10 seconds to answer. Well, that is all in today's quiz. How well did you do? Tally your score and post in the comments. Don't forget to share this quiz with your family and friends. See you in the next one. God bless.